So this uh, tutorial is going to involve showing you the standard uh, or the conventions for constructing truth tables. So it doesn't matter what textbook you pick up or what logic uh, class you walk into, uh, the order of the atomic sentences in reference columns, as well as the number of rows in a truth table and the layout of the truth values will be the same. Let's go ahead and get started. You already know uh, a number of features of Bool, which I will not review here. Instead, um, I will start by pointing your attention to our reference columns. You're going to uh, always use the uh, atomic sentence order of the sentence for which you want to construct a truth table. So suppose you have the following sentence. It's not the case that uh, both A and B or it's not the case that C. You have uh, three atomic sentences and the order they appear when we read left to right is A, B, and then C. So what we'll have in our reference column is the same order. We start with A, new column, B, new column, C. Next, the number of rows of a truth table is determined by the number of atomic sentences. We have three atomic sentences that will give us a total of eight rows. Why? Well, eight rows gives us the total possible permutations of truth value uh, combination. In other words, we could say that A is true, B is true, C is true. We could say A is true, B is true, C is false, and so forth, right? In other words, that's what I mean by uh, possible combinations or permutations of truth values. There is a standard, as I mentioned a moment ago, and that standard we'll get to in just a moment. For right now, let's talk about how many rows. I said eight. How do we get to eight? Well, there is a shorthand for determining the number of rows that you will generate. I talked about the possible permutations, uh, the possible combinations of truth values. That is summed up in the following formula. The number of rows is determined by 2 to the power of the number of atomic statements. That is, the number of rows or number of lines in a truth table is or equal to 2 to n, superscript n, where n is the number of atomic statements. Now, I'm going to uh, fill in the reference columns automatically, and you'll see that we have 8. 4 true, 4 false, 2 true, 2 false, and then again, 2 true, 2 false, and then finally alternating true, false, true, false, true, false, true, false down through eight rows. Now we get to the layout. Your first atomic sentence in the order of atomic sentences when we're reading left to right takes half of the total number of lines in the truth table and the that half gets, uh, is, sorry, that half takes the value of true. The other half, the second half, in this case, the uh, uh, fifth through eighth rows gets the values of false. So when we have eight rows, the first sentence A has the following references, half true, half false. The second sentence B takes the first four rows, which in this case are all true, and takes half of those four and provides us with pairs respectively true and false. And then the second half, that is rows five through eight, repeats the pairs, half true, half false. And then the last sentence in the reference column, uh, C, under C, I should say, always alternates true, false, true, false, true, false, and so forth. Now, what do you think we would have with, let's say, uh, four or 
five atomic sentences. Well, again, we take our formula, number of rows equals two to the number of atomic sentences, and we get respectively for four atomic sentences, 16 rows. So let's take a look at that. I'll go ahead for the purpose of time and uh, fill the tape, have Boole fill the columns, right? So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen rows, right? So four atomic sentences means two times two is four times two is eight times two is sixteen. And again, the first reference column, in this case A, takes half of those 16 rows and assigns the value T. The other half of those 16 rows gets assigned the values F. Then the second column takes the first half, that is eight rows, and divides the eight into half, four of which then are true, four of, are, of which then are false, and then again for the second eight. Next, the third reference column takes half of the uh, first four of the second referent column, and we get pairs, two true, two false, two true, two false, and once again for the second set of uh, eight. And then lastly, this is now I hope a pattern you're seeing emerge, the last atomic sentence values always alternate. True, false, true, false, true, false, true, false. I hope that this tutorial on constructing two truth tables has been helpful to you as you make your way through Boolean logic.